Something that we don't have in this world anymore is truth. Everybody lies. Everybody's so full of fucking shit. You literally are stuck in a trap. And only a few of us are gonna get out. And the ones that get out are the ones that tell the truth. Burn it at both ends. I like the fire cause it make hand. I'm not tired, I've been waiting. I'm not forsaken. Me and my wife, we talk about not being one dimensional. You feel me? What do you do for a living? What's your name? Preston, what do you do for a living? Own a mechanic shop. How old are you? Okay, Preston, come on up here. Come on. Get up here. Let's get Preston up on stage. Come on. Come on. All right, now listen, Preston, I'm going to ask some questions, and I'm going to hand the mic to you. But I want you to get up here because this is about you today. Did you buy a ticket to get in this room? Okay, cool. So you came here. Um, real quick, I want you to tell us a couple of the reasons why you came here today. Learn, learn new tricks. Learn new ideas. How to grow better financially, personal-wise, and network and support the movement. I, that's the way I look at it. Let's do this. Let's become concrete, crystal clear on what we want. Would you agree? Yeah. You climbed a big ass mountain, right? <laughs> Didn't you? At 89 years old? People ain't supposed to be on big ass mountains at 89 years old, right? But you ain't most people, am I right? Yeah, I mean, and by the way, listen to me. If we can all make it to 93 and we're like her smiling, having a great day, that's what life's about. I promise you. I'm going to ask him again, why is he here? Okay? So just tell us again. But this time I want you to be clear. Because you said, like, you know, I want to level up. I want to get my financial statement bigger. I want to do this. Look, what are you looking for? The world's your library. If you know what you're looking for, it'll give you what you're looking for. Am I right? What if you don't know what you're looking for? Right? You're just a feather blowing around in the wind. You're just here, but you're not here. Because if you don't know what you want, you're just consuming information and it becomes entertainment. Does that make sense? And that's why social media just destroys people unless you know what you want. I like Brad Lee. So I watch Brad's content daily. I know he's going to drop four pieces for 15 seconds. That's 60 seconds a day and I can run with him. I like some other people's content. I could literally choose five people and I could get four pieces of content a day, and within five minutes, I could study people that I look up to. That's five minutes. Most of you guys sit down to take a shit, and you're on the toilet for 45 minutes because you get sucked into the social media game. And the crazy thing is you don't have time to go to the gym. You don't have time to stay in shape. You don't have time to show your boyfriend or your girlfriend love. You don't have sex every night. You don't kill it in business. You don't do your follow-up at work. You literally are stuck in a trap. And only a few of us are going to get out. And the ones that get out are the ones that tell the truth, okay? Something that we don't have in this world anymore is truth. Everybody lies. Everybody's so full of fucking shit, okay? Everybody runs around holding hands at church, and they sleep in the same bed, and they're miles apart, okay? My wife says fighting is good. Some of you are like, I don't like to fight. Dude, we want to fight because we're going to be real. You get one life. You better fight because if you don't, I swear to God, you're going to end up with a divorce. You're going to tear your family apart, and you're just like everyone else out there. I'm going to ask you some questions. Is that cool? Yeah. Okay, so number one, everybody give it up for him for getting up here. Okay, so, so number one, do you got kids? Yes. Okay, how many? Two. Do you want to be your children's hero? Well, of course. Well, it's not that easy. Because you're competing with a lot of other people that are competing for your child's brain. Do you agree? Oh, 100%. Let's not be naive. Am I right, guys? Okay, how old are your kids? Six and uh, one month. Boy or girl? Six-year-old's boy and a girl. Six-year-old boys, what are they like? Hulk? Oh, what are yeah. like? Oh, yeah, superheroes. What do superheroes look like? What do superheroes look like? Well, I look like the Hulk, but all the other ones, no, like, no, no. there's a lot of these but, guys. But what do they look like, though? Aliens. Are they in shape? Are they in shape? Yeah. Okay. See, these are hard answers. We don't want to answer this shit. Okay. How, how, how do great marriages treat each other like it was the beginning? Okay? Because if you treat something like it's the beginning, there'll never be an end. Am I right? Now, listen, I'm going to tell you something. Did you come here to change today? Well, of course. Not everybody did. You guys feel me? So what I'm going to do, the reason why people choose to follow certain people is because I'm either going to feed them ice cream and make them feel good, or I'm going to treat them like the badass he wants to become. And if he paid any amount of money to come in this room, I'm going to tell him what he needs to do. Number one, if in the last 30 seconds of your life you were going to die, and you knew you were, you just got in a car wreck, and you knew you were going out, who would you think about? I would say, I would say my kids, but at the same time, what did I leave for them? 
No, they don't care what you left. They don't care what you left, okay? In the last 30 seconds of your life, see, this is hard to answer, isn't it? Why? This should be the easiest thing to answer. The reason why so many people are broke is because they're busy. Productive equals paid. Busy equals broke. You want to live a life worth living? You want to be a legend? You want to go out? What's important to you? Listen, what's important to me don't have to be important to him. You know what I'm saying? And who he is right now doesn't have to be who he's going to be next year or who he'll be in three months from now. Does that make sense? Hey guys, what's going on? It's Andy. A lot of you leave comments telling me that you need help. Do me a favor. I'm going to tell you the best way to get a hold of me. Shoot me a text message right now, 918-210-0254, 918-210-0254. I'll help you with whatever you need. I got your back for life. Let's get back to the video. Okay, so I'm going to go over my importance. Number one, my wife. She's the most important thing in my life. My wife. Okay, I want to show the standard to my children how our kids should see how, see how marriage runs. Most people run in the house and they go straight to the kids. I go straight to my wife. Okay, because I want my kids to see the respect that I have for my wife. Okay, and they'll know how they should be treated when they get older. If I run to my kids, they're going to be spoiled and I put my wife second, which means it's okay for them to be second when they get older. No, my wife is number one. Number two, my children are second. If I was to die and I had 30 seconds, I would think, I don't care about what I left for, for my kids, like wealth-wise. I care about the habits I left. What habits do you want to leave? Generational habits are what we need to leave. Would everybody agree? Do you want me to tell you how to change your life like that fast? Let's hear it. Okay. Number one, what are your priorities? Not, not what do you want to do. What are your priorities? Like everybody has a to-do list in here, right? But f*** that. To-do lists is their dog shit. That's what's going to keep you busy. That's what, you know, if you watch Andrew Tate, he talks about the matrix and shit and all these people have their own words. It's the truth. It's the truth, dude. Like we give up, we impress. Okay, how many employees do you have? How many people work for you? 14. 14. You, pro you married? Yep. You probably do more for those people than you do for your own wife. Just the truth. 100%. You probably do more for them than you do for your own children. How fucked up is this? How crazy is this? See, this is the conversation that I like to have. You feel me? I see a lot of people going around kissing people's ass, but go home and treat the relationship like dog shit. Yet they go around and tell everybody that they're kissing their ass, that they got the best relationship at home, and they actually don't. And they're not close to their kids, and your children don't look up to you as their hero. That's why they're watching cartoons. If not, they'd be watching dad. What we need to do is we need to reverse some shit, okay? And by the way, listen to me. Hey, hey the rest of the world ain't going to do it. You're going to be a one percenter, and then the rest are going to be the 99 percent. We're not going to get everybody in this room to do it. A couple of you guys are already upset at me right now that I'm even talking about this. And you're saying, hey, you know what? I don't like this. I thought you were going to motivate people. No, no, no. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to give him an opportunity to change his life, and I'm going to give you an opportunity to change your life. Okay? It's this simple. Number one, in the last 30 seconds of your life, if you were getting into an accident, what is important to you? Number one, are you married? Yes. Okay, cool. Is she important to you? 100 percent. Okay. Has she supported you? Yes. If you're going to get sick right now, would those 14 people at work be with you when you were going to die? Or, or would your wife be there? My wife. She should be number one. And if she's not, she knows she's not. And because she's burned out and she's not giving you her best and she's not doing everything she should do, well, it's all because of you. You're not leading her there. You're not making her feel important. She's fucking exhausted. She's number two. I'd be pissed off too. She might be number 15. But if you go to put her number one, what kind of woman will she become? Oh, my God. She'll become dangerous. You know what I want you to know? I, how old are you? I'm 36. I can do a paradigm shift in his life that fast. You know what I would do? Number one, I'd start with his health. I would get you the healthiest motherfucker in the world. I swear to God, I don't even care about making you more money. Matter of fact, it'd be worth it to give up less money and get yourself in help because number one, I promise you, you're going to look up and you're going to regret what you're becoming. You're going to regret. And that's why you came here today. You came here today because something inside of you go, man, this is bullshit, dude. I look in the mirror, man. I'm stripped down naked. I'm about to get dressed for it. I'm like, dude, this is f***ed up. Like, this is not who I am. Like, did you, have you ever been an athlete ever in your life? High school, yeah. What happened? Like, 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 what happened? Like, do you guys walk around and see people, like, burned out? You know why they're burned out? You know why? Do you know why, Garrett? Because they lost their purpose. Right? You're an athlete at heart, am I right? Yes or no? Yeah. 
And when you look in the mirror and you don't see that man anymore and you see this man, that can't make you competitive in business. That can't make you competitive for your wife. That can't make you competitive to go fight for your kids. That can't make you fight. You know what it makes you want to do? Quit. Makes you want to quit. And then you end up being like everybody else. Guys, listen, here's what I'll tell you. Number one, can we have it all? Yes or no? You bet your ass we can. And you know what I know? Most people won't listen. Most people won't change. And they won't do anything. Guys, you know, this is the not most people, right? Who gets success? Uncommon people, right? Who get in great shape? Uncommon people, right? So today, I would tell you the biggest paradigm shift that any of you could have, right, is going to be this. Garrett, come here. Let me show you something. Let's grab Garrett real quick. Everybody give it up for Garrett. Okay, so Garrett, let's do something real quick, all right? Garrett, take your shirt off. Come on, Garrett. Take your shirt off, Garrett. Okay, now hold on. Now, Garrett's a killer. Am I right? Garrett, how old are you? 29. Garrett, does this bother you? Yes, sir. Okay, it doesn't bother you enough because if it did, I you agree. wouldn't have it. Am I right? Yes, sir. I mean it. Now, come on, put your shirt down. We don't need this. You don't need this because you know what I want you to do? I want you to realize this is going to be your future team. Yep. These are the people you're going to lead. You got kids? Yes, sir. Two sons. Okay. This is the last time I want you to take your shirt off in front of a group of people and not be in the shape you want your children to be in. Yes, sir. And I mean that. And listen to me. You know what we are? We're all leaders. We're all, am I right? Are you a leader? You're a leader. Are you guys all leaders? Are you a leader? Just so you're aware, the fact that I made him take his shirt off, he can't hide from me. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Okay. I didn't make you take your shirt off, but I want to explain something to you. Okay. If I could teach you one thing in this world, number one, I'm a sales guy. I'm a sales trainer. Okay, we teach people to sell, close, influence, persuade, grow business, right? Lead generation, do shit like that. Like, it's super cool. But I don't want to talk to you about that because I want to talk to you. What inspired me to go become the best in the world was me looking in the mirror and seeing a different man. You know what I did? I decided to get into fitness and get in shape. And I decided that if I could look in the mirror and see a different man, I could start pretending to be somebody different. In the beginning, it was a lie. I really wasn't a badass. But over time, I ended up seeing a badass. Sean, do you hear me? Okay, quit looking around. Okay, pay attention. Some of you guys, you're freaking, okay, if you wanted what you say you wanted, you would have it. Am I right? Dude, if you wanted anything right now, you'd already have it. Am I correct? You just don't want it bad enough. You don't want it bad enough. Like, that's the problem, man. Dude, I've, I've, I've got the, ha the life hack. The life hack is this simple. I'm going to make him stand here with his shirt off. Okay? He doesn't like it. You don't like it, do you? I don't mind it. No, you fucking don't like it, dude. That's bullshit. I don't mind it. No, you do mind it because that isn't your A game. No, because if I did mind it, then I wouldn't want to grow. That's right. So he's saying he's okay with being uncomfortable. And by the way, this pisses him off. You know why? Because I'm going to put his ass on social media and he's going to be like, motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? And I can't the, believe it. And the next time you see me, I'm going to be growing. That's it. No. Every day, this guy's going to go crazy. I believe in the ultimate form of accountability. You know what it is? It's this. Number one, dude, my wife one day, this is how I learned this. I wasn't always into fitness. I was always into making money. But what I would do is that I would sacrifice my health for money. And then I would sacrifice my wife for money. Or then, and then my wife was like, dude, we've learned to live without you. I'm like, oh, shit. So I would sacrifice money to go be home. And then she's like, dude, I don't want to lose her either. Like, you got to make money. And I'm like, what do you want? And I realized that, dude, honestly, I didn't have this shit together. So we created this. I want you guys to write this down. There's three levels. And I want you to remember this. You're going to be here with me. Physical, mental business. I'm going to show you how paradigm shift is life. I'm going to physically get you fit. What do you weigh? I don't know. I think it's like 350. Okay. What did you weigh when you got out of school? Uh, 260. Okay. If I can get you to 260, how would you feel? How would you operate? I can get you to 260 by how long, Adam? Three to four months. Dude, listen to me. Say four months. four months. If I could get you to freaking 220 pounds within four months, would you do whatever we said? Of course. Okay. Everybody says that. Then they don't. Okay. Everybody, I'm going to say something. What is it going to cost to get what you want? Everybody say this. Say, more than you want to pay. Everybody say that. More than you want to pay. Okay. Just so you guys are aware, it's never going to be cheap. It's going to be more than you want to pay. You want to raise your kids right? What's it going to cost? More than, more than you, you want to pay. pay. Yep. You want to be a badass? You want to get in shape? Number one, you got to get pissed off. 
You got to have controlled anger. I run around constantly in anger and mad. You know why? I call it my edge. I don't want to go back. I hated my old life. I hated it. I was just like everybody else. I looked like everybody else. I was asleep. I was disgusted with me. Okay? If you're not, if you're in, who's in a relationship, raise your hand. Are you having sex every single day? If you're not, dude, you don't like you. Because if you did, your ass would be naked every night having sex. Am I right? I'm just kidding. That was a joke. I was just messing with her. Yeah, by the way, it's, it's healthy for you to have sex. Am I right? Yes, it is. She even said it. 93 years old, she's like, still doing it every day. We're good. Okay? Promise you, you can't outgrow that shit. Okay? But anyways, here's one of the most important things this, is that, listen, that's, that controlled anger, that edge, the day that my life changed was the day my wife said she learned to live without me. And you know what she did about the next day? Is she reached behind me, and she did what I did to you. And she did this. And here, turn around. Let's show everybody. See this? This little thing back here. It's kind of a little muffin top, right? It just sits right there. And when she did that, I swear to God, man, I felt spiders crawling in my body. And I was like, <sighs> I'm like, damn, that shit pisses me off. And she goes, dude, you're just undisciplined. And uh, you mm. can have it all, but you don't think you can. Mm. She goes, you're one-dimensional. Mm. I don't like that. Especially when your wife calls you out. And my goal in life is to have my wife admire me, and I want my children to look up to me. Mm. I had settled. I had made money, but now... I was literally failing my wife, I was failing myself, um, and my health was shit. I went in the garage, I've told this story a thousand times, I go in the garage, I shave my head, literally. I didn't have great hair anyways, I just said screw it, I needed to see it, I needed to see a different person immediately. The fastest way for me to see another person, it'd be like me shaving his face right now, right? If I shaved his face, you guys are like, damn, look like a different dude, because he did, because I cut all his hair off. And then literally, dude, I said, that's it. I went in the garage. I grinded for a couple hours. I worked out. And, dude, when I was done working out, dude, I actually felt better. I go, this is it. This is, this is it. This is it. This is what I have to do. This is what I have to do. Until I die, I have to stay obsessed and understand that my therapy and my medicine is this gym. It's the gym. That's what it is. And listen, my wife, when me and her get in a fight, you know what she says? Go to the gym go. She goes, get out of here. Go to the gym. Am I right, babe? Get out of here. She knows I'm working this shit out. I don't understand. We had crazy childhoods growing up. That doesn't mean nothing. It's just like this thing right here can just like go over here like that fast. You know, like some of you right now, you don't have what you want. So you walk around all day long thinking about what you don't have, what you don't, you know, and you're freaking depressed. I run around all day long now and I'm so fired up because I'm physically healthy that, dude, like, nothing bothers me. As long as I wake up before the sun comes up and I hit that gym, I keep my body fat lean, I'm 43. As long as I have a six-pack, I'm good. I'm not a bodybuilder. I'm not big. But I'm an adult, and, and adults that are in shape don't fucking exist anymore. Am I right? Yeah. Dude, 70% of the world is obese. What's the key? key is you can have it all. Where do you need to start? You need to start with your health. That's it. I swear to God. You take care of your health, you go and you shed all this body fat off you. How good will he treat his wife? Isn't that crazy? I don't need to give him no freaking marriage counseling. I need to get him in shape. Dude, I don't, dude, that's your deal. Like, you came here today. Dude, I could teach you how to sell. I could teach you how to close. I could teach you to grow your business. I could teach you to generate more leads. But none of that even matters if he doesn't have a paradigm shift in his life and he literally gets in shape. I will tell you this, and everybody goes kind of numb when we start talking fitness. I see people checking out, right? Mm -hmm. You're never going to have that. You're never going to have it. You're going to have obliques in here. You're going to have a six-pack, right? This little shit right here is going to yeah. go away. And, dude, I swear to God, man, listen, you're going to sit here, and you're going to show me some shit in six months, and you're going to say, bro. I'm going to show you it in three. That's my boy. That's my boy. <laughs> and you know what? He's going to say, bro, thank you. No, no, this is sick. Thank you, right? Because you changed my freaking life. And because in business, we sometimes need to shift fast. Would you agree? Mm -hmm. Me and my wife, were growing at light speed pace. All the Elliott group, you know how fast we're growing. It's stupid, mm -hmm. man. We can't even keep up. Why? What's the number one thing I talk about all day long? 
fitness, fitness. I walk in and I say, hey, guys, y'all ready to kill it today? All right. Let's take your shirts off. Let me see what we got. I don't talk about the revenue. I know where the revenue is going to go. I know what the clients are going to do. Take your shirts off. Let me see you guys paid the price, you did the work, before we start the day. And if they did, what kind of mood are they in, you think, when they leave the gym? You ever drove out of the gym pissed off? No. No, dude, you're like, bro, dude, if you cut me off and we ain't gone to the gym yet, I'm like, dude, pull over. Let's have a conversation about what's going on. If I just pull out of the gym and you cut me off, I'm like, what up, bro? I'm like, we good, man. Like, shit's good. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Like, I don't care, man. Like, I'm all good. Dude, the therapy for human beings is this gym. This thing right here, eating clean, right? Hey, is decision making important? Oh, yeah. Yes. If you are in charge of some other people, or if you have children and a wife, you need to be the example. Hey guys, what's going on? It's Andy. A lot of you leave comments telling me that you need help. Do me a favor, I'm gonna tell you the best way to get a hold of me. Shoot me a text message right now, 918-210-0254. 918-210-0254. I'll help you with whatever you need. I got your back for life. Let's get back to the video. Dude, think about your kids right now, because I know you're thinking about them now. And you're like, dude, you know what? I am totally in the wrong space. I'm thinking about work, business, financials. I need to be thinking about, dude, I, I need to lead my kids. In order to lead my kids, I need to lead me. So leadership starts with self-leadership. Does that make sense? Yes, sir. Okay, that's why I'm telling you, if I was to coach you, first thing that I would do, by the way, what would it be worth to you if I could shred all the fat off you, get you lean, take you back to your literally, your 220 pounds and you got out of school, everything. Am I right? Yes. Can't put a price on it. Watch this. I swear on my life when I say this to you. Those that are in shape makes the most money. It's crazy. Now listen, I know some of us have you know, health problems. Um, you, you had asthma, right? Remember that? I had asthma. Everybody stand up. Jacqueline, Jacqueline, Jacqueline uh, stand up, Jacqueline. You see her? Everybody see how hot Jacqueline is? Okay. No, listen, listen. She was just like me. When she was younger, she had asthma. And how did you beat it? Ran more. She outran her asthma. I outran my asthma. In fourth grade, the doctor told me, dude, you got asthma. You need to quit running because I ran track. You know what I did? I ran more. I beat my inhaler. Now I don't have asthma anymore. You know what's so crazy? It's people like go the wrong way. Does that make sense? Like people are all, every, the thing now is medication. Dude, do you know what you guys need to get rich? You know what you need to, to love who you are? Nobody looks in the mirror and love who they are anymore. Doesn't exist. You want to do that? Yeah. Take your shirt off. Get in the mirror. Okay. Yeah. Go ahead. Take your shirt off. Go ahead. It's your turn. You're a big guy. Am I right? Okay. You want to get shredded? Okay. And that's really who you're supposed to be. Am I correct? Every day that he looks in the mirror before the day starts, he knows what he looks like, and that's why he goes into the day the way he does. Okay? When he sees the most elite version of him, everybody else is screwed. Am I right? You want to be dangerous? This is it. You know, Brad told me, he goes, come here and talk about health. Okay? There's lots of ways to get in shape. I'm older right now. Okay? How old are you? How old are you? He's 26. I'm 43, right? So everybody do me a favor. Write this down on a piece of paper. You can go and have a seat. You're good, man. I love you, buddy. Have a seat. Give it up for him. Hey, you're good, too. You're good, too. Love you more. Love you more. Okay? Listen, I want everybody to do me a favor. Write down this number I'm going to give you. If, if you're committed, I want to give you a phone number. Just because all day long I've seen this booth, but I want to tell you something. Just write this down. If you don't write it down, you're lazy. Just write it down. You don't have to do nothing with it. It's up to you. 602 900 8703. Here's my point. I do something called time under tension. Okay, everybody do me a favor. Everybody stand up. You want to see what a workout looks like? Do me a favor. Everybody put your arm down like this. Okay? Put your arm down. I want you to put your arm down like this. And I want you to do me a favor. I want you to count to five. And I want you to flex as hard as you can. Flex as hard as you can. Okay? And come all the way up. And at the top, I want you to squeeze it. Squeeze your ball, okay? Now do me a favor, let it down slow. Okay, we, don't, we have zero weights. Okay, time under tension. I want you to go all the way down. Okay, now keep, keep, it, keep it tight. Now get it to here, okay? Hold it, squeeze it. Now come back up again. Okay, now keep it tight. Listen to me, listen. I don't care what the weight is, under tension. You see it shaking? You guys feel it shaking? Is there any weight in your hand? 
Nope, let it go back down. See that? That's called a negative, okay? See that? And I'm all the way to here. Now, can I ask you a question? Do you think that that would build your bicep to be strong? Now, do me a favor. Take your left arm. Okay, and I want you to do this. Ready? Everybody say one, two, three, four, five. Which one was a better workout, this one or this one? You only did two here, but you did five here. Here's what I want you to know. Does everybody understand if you want something to grow, what do you do? Pay attention to it. Well, listen, whatever you put into something is what you get out of it. Am I right? Okay. You want to grow your business? Okay. How are you treating your people? Okay. You want more leads? Show me your personal brand in your social media. Does everybody know you? Oh, they don't know you? No wonder you don't have any leads. No wonder you got to pay for all your shit. You don't have a badass team? Show me the leader. Who's in charge? Oh, you are? Well, no wonder they don't want to go work hard and be like you. Oh, your team has trouble and problems at home? You probably have personal problems too. That's the reason I don't have anybody to look up to. Okay? They're not close to their kids or because, because the leader's probably not close to his kids. Every day in our company, do we talk about our children? Yep, every day. How many companies don't talk about their kids? 99% of them. We talk about them every day. How many, how many times a day do we talk about treat your wife great? Ian Macklin, what happens if someone cheats on their wife or their girlfriend? We said fired. No, 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 fired. Fired. Hey, there's two rules. Number one, if you're going to have a girlfriend, guess what? You're going to be loyal to her. If you're not going to have a girlfriend, do what you want. But don't do one and do the other. There's two rules we live by, trust and loyalty. Okay, all you guys have been burned. Okay, trust and loyalty what we live by, right? There is a reason why, and I'm telling you why our company is growing so big, so fast. I call it an army because it's not just a team anymore. We're building an army. Um, we want to change uh, the way people operate, the way that people believe, the way that people, you know, guys, you, this world's so easy to get what you want. But I promise you, if I, okay, let's reverse. If I came out here right now, you know those, those filters? Has anybody got a Snapchat and you can put those filters on people? So filters make you look different. They can make you look like an animal. They can also make you look very fat. Okay, they have a fat filter. And uh, it was so crazy. We got on the filter one day, and I gave a sales meeting, and the twins had the fat filter on me. And by the way, which wasn't cool. And I had a beard, right? And um, I looked at it when I was done, and you know what I thought? I go, dude, like, we got like 400,000 salespeople we're training. You know what? Like, like, we wouldn't have anybody training with me if that's how I looked. Like, we'd be out of business. You know what I realized? Holy shit, man. Thank God, step one, before we grew our business, was I decided to get in shape. And then our whole team's in shape. And what do you think's happening with business? It's like raining money. It, it, I, I, can't, I don't even know what to do, man. How in the hell did all this start? It started with step one. You know what step one is? Get your ass in elite shape. And guess what? I want to tell you something, all right? When I looked in the mirror and I literally did not like what I saw, I didn't get depressed. I got pissed off. And you know what I did? I got a coach. I got a coach because guess what? I'm going to tell you something, all right? My wife's important to me. My business is important to me. My kids are important to me. God's important to me, okay? I know I've said some F words here, but you guys, can you guys see my heart? Yes or no? Okay? Love don't lie. If you love somebody, tell them the truth. I'm not going to lie to you guys. This is how you get it. I got a coach, just like that cell phone number. And you know what I did? I said, hey, I want to join the program. Okay, what can you do with me in six months? And now I didn't have to think about what to do. You know what I love? I love not having to think. I don't want to think. I don't want to think. I just want you to tell me what to do. So I just wanted to tell you that 2023, it's the era of literally what I've seen, the, the most laziest person in the history of time. Um, we're in an era of entitlement, we're in an era of ego, um, and we're in arrogance. Dude, if a guy was making $100 million a year and he said he could teach you to go make money, wouldn't you spend some money to learn what he knows, yes or no? You know what I see? People go, ah, next. And then they bitch about being broke. Okay, find somebody that has been where you want to go or that has a system that can take you where you want to go and dive in. Go get it and chase it every day of your life. I'm going to tell you this. Listen to me. There's no limits. There's no caps. You can do whatever you want. Truly, you can. 
him. You know what I'm talking about? Having it all and being uncommon. And who are the people that get the uncommon stuff? Uncommon people. So how do you get uncommon? It's very, very simple. Number one, you got to look in the mirror and you got to like who the hell you are. Because you can't help anybody else if you don't want to help yourself. If you don't like you, I promise you, you're not being good to your wife or your husband. I swear to God you're not. And you're damn sure not being good to anyone else that's around you. Our responsibility as adults or the people that we love is to bring the good shit in life to them. Am I right? That's our job. What is the fastest and the best way to do it? Get in shape. I want to know what you're spending your money on. Are you blowing your money? Are you spending it? Are you saving it? Are you eating fast food? Where's your money going? And dude, I can tell if their entertainment budget is higher than their education budget, right? Like if you tell me you want it and I don't see any education money on here, like you're paying for zero coaching, dude, you don't give a shit. If you're not paying for any supplements, if you're not paying for, you know, anything, on, you don't care. Dude, you give all your money back to the world to stay the same, okay? Where someone's heart is, is where they put their money. And a lot of people's heart is in the TV, it's in Netflix, it's in the trash can, it's in social media, it's in cheeseburger, it's, 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 it's fucking disgusting. You know, and I'm being raw with you guys for a minute because I want you to know that you can do two things now. Number one, you can walk out that door and you can stay the same, okay? Or number two, you can draw a hard line in the sand and you can change. And the one thing's for sure is that time will tell what you decided, okay? You told me in three months that I was going to see a new you. I will not forget, okay? And you don't want to see me in three months and not change because I will freaking, I swear to God, we will put you, we will go, we will go Instagram live with 500,000 people and we will say, this motherfucker, this guy lied to me. He said he was going to do it. I knew he was a fraud. He said he was going to change. I took his word and he didn't. He said he got busy. Could you believe that? He's got 19, but see, but, or, or, or he'll change. And in three months, I'll say, you know what? You did it. Good job, man. You're going to go far. That's all I want with you guys, man. Uh, my life changed with fitness. I would love to tell you that it was with lead generation. I'd love to tell you it was with the social media stuff I did that I was taught from the hundreds of thousands of dollars I spent with the influencers. I could have done all that shit. But had I, when I saw that fat filter, looked at myself and realized had I kept and looked like the old me, this business would not exist. We wouldn't have this. My team wouldn't want to be with me. And I promise you, man, I know that I'm talking about, you know, a lot of stuff, but all of these benefits come from health. Am I right? That's it. Okay. So those that will tell you the truth in life are very hard to find. And I'm telling you, if you guys will go and leave with your fitness, I'll talk business with you all day long, but if I'm going to coach you in business, I'll always start with fitness. And if you won't do the fitness, then I'll just give you your money back because you're just going to end up not doing anything. So why don't we all just take away from today that we, my wife said, don't be one dimensional. We can have it all, right? God, our family, we can look in the mirror like who we see. Everybody just draw the line. Um, my goal is to really live like she's lived. Okay, like I mean, at 93, if I can be in a room and be as healthy as her, holy shit, I can't believe it. But I promise you, if you don't pay attention to your health, you won't live as long as you. Am I right? I love her smile. God bless her heart. We just gave her a lot of information today. Hope you got your money's worth. All right, love you guys. Let's get out of here. Let's go. Hey guys, I just want to tell you the true one percenters, you made it till the end of the video. Do me a favor, share it with the friend that wants to go to another level. Make sure you like the video, comment below so I know who you are, set your notifications, and then subscribe to the channel. We got daily sales training videos dropping. I'll see you soon.